We can really, really just be ourselves, just as we are, whatever is arising in the moment. However we're feeling, we're just ourselves completely. And at the same time, we see that all our thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences, they actually have no hold on us. They're just fleeting. They just come and go. And we can just see that in our own experience. You know, one moment we, we may be feeling really sad. And then the next moment we're thinking about chocolate mousse and how delicious that was. You know, and it just brings a big smile on our face. So we, we never know what's going to come up next. And so here we're just gaining trust and confidence in in that power to know, in open intelligence, in this, in this ease of being. And the way to be introduced to, to this ease of being or open intelligence is simply to stop thinking for a moment. And we can do that right now, just to stop thinking. Pause our train of thought to not describe anything. And what remains is this complete openness, the spaciousness, <coughs> this complete ease, open intelligence. And then naturally all these thoughts, emotions, sensations and experiences, they just flood back in, one at a time one datum at a time, but we see that that ease is still present. It's present whether we're not thinking, whether we stop our train of thought, or whether we are thinking or feeling something. It's still that power to know, to know whether we're thinking or not thinking. And that power to know is open intelligence. So we see that the, the data and open intelligence are completely inseparable, like the color blue in sky, completely inseparable. And so it keeps things really, really sweet and simple, <laughs> that we really have nothing to worry about, that all these appearances they really are not our identity. They're just this dynamic display of open intelligence, this dynamic energy of, of open intelligence. So our fundamental identity is this open-hearted open intelligence. And it doesn't matter what we're feeling. It really doesn't matter. We can be so gentle on ourselves and so light-hearted and just so real. We don't need to pretend or fake anything. We just allow ourselves to be completely real, completely human, completely alive, feeling everything. And it doesn't matter whether we do feel grumpy or in a bad mood or or happy, or whatever it may be. We just allow that experience to be as it is and see that it has no hold on us whatsoever. It doesn't limit our effectiveness. It doesn't limit our open-heartedness. It just is another appearance. And, and be so gentle, that's completely fine. We don't need to pretend either to be extremely happy when we're feeling a bit down. That's completely, it's, it's, it's futile. We're here just to be ourselves. And what's beautiful is that we're completely supported here to, to be ourselves. The support of the four mainstays. So relying on open intelligence, which is simply to relax moment by moment, taking short moments whenever we naturally remember to do so and allowing everything to be as it is. And then coming to open meetings and the trainings and 
visiting the website with all the rich media and the books and this just it's just amazing what you find on the on the website participant shares and just seeing that everybody around the world, all these communities around the world are just doing this together, just supporting one another to recognize their natural perfection, to recognize their open-hearted, open intelligence as their true identity. And then writing to a trainer, if you have a trainer, just to completely blow things, blow things wide open with complete clarification, normalizing everything. And being completely empowered to, to really step into that, that open-heartedness and power regardless of what's appearing. To use that, that power, that beneficial energy that's arising for the benefit of all. That total compassion for yourself, whatever you're experiencing and, and seeing that, wow, before, I felt so limited by that. And I really felt that that had a hold on me. But, but now I, I, I see that it, it's just a, another opportunity to be of complete benefit. And another opportunity to really serve myself and, and, and serve others in a very open-hearted way. In a very understanding and compassionate way. You know, we really meet people where they're at. I know that when I met the training, it was really the community that, that drew me in. These amazing people, so natural, so stable, and so open-hearted. And I just felt so cared for, just exactly as, as I am not needing to be in any certain way, not needing to have certain thoughts or emotions or experiences in my life or just as I am. Wherever I was at that point or wherever I am now, you know, there's that complete warm embrace and love just as we are as these beautiful beings these magnificent beings and powerful beings because everything that arises is the perfect opportunity to really tap into that power, to use that beneficial energy for the benefit of all. And I can completely relate to um, people sharing their their anger with me, or frustration, or um, rage, whatever it may be. And before, I was very easily consumed by that and felt like a complete victim and really blamed myself and, um, yeah, just went down that, that victim road completely till the end. Um, but now, when I really relied on open intelligence, and I just stopped for a brief moment and thought, if I had exactly the same thoughts and emotions and sensations as, that, as the other person, I would probably act in the same way. Just in, the, in that data-driven conduct, because that's what we're so used to that way of, of acting, the impulses. That's the way we've been trained and, and educated, if you like, all our lives. That's what we've seen all around us, people just acting on the impulses, acting on whatever comes up, all the urges and surges. And, and in that, just trying to find relief, trying to feel OK, trying to find well-being. But here we, we really see that the ultimate solution is simply to rest in our, in our powers of great benefit.